recently did a tutorial that showed you how to gain root access to the Google Pixel 4a and also how to bypass safety net. And one of the first comments that I got in that video asked if that bypass method was able to get around Google's recent safety net a test method which has been hardware backed and at this time it's not possible to get around the hardware backed safety net attest checks but this has always been a cat and mouse game between the developer community and Google and it's going to continue being like that so today, I actually want to show you how to find out if your Android smartphone or tablet is using the basic safety net check method or the hardware safety net check method. So to find out if your device uses basic or hardware backed safety net checks, you're going to need to have ADB and Fastboot tools installed on your PC. You're also going to need to have USB debugging mode enabled on your device you want to check. If you're not familiar with how to do any of the any of that or any of the rest of this tutorial, be sure to check in the video description as I'll be having direct links to full tutorials on those specific items. So once you have that set up on the PC and your device connected to the PC, via a USB cable. Again, you're going to need to enable USB debugging mode within the developer options menu. And you're going to need to either you download an app like this, Safety Net Helper Sample, or use the Magisk Manager. The idea here is that we just need to initiate a safety net check on the device because when we do that safety net check, it's going to spit out some information in a log file, a log file that's actually called log cat. And with ADB and Fastboot tools, we're going to inspect that file and pull up the exact bit of information that we need to check. So again, we can use this standalone app right here, or we can use Magisk Manager. I haven't rooted this Redmi K30 Pro yet as I'm waiting for the bootloader unlock. So I'm just going to use this standalone app from the Play Store. It gives you a single button and we just need to tap it to run the safety net check. And it doesn't matter if this uh, check passes or fails, we're still going to get the same information in that log file that we're looking for. So with that done, we can then connect the device to our PC via the USB cable if you haven't already. And then I'm going to show you the command that we're going to run. So now you can see I've opened up a command prompt on the computer that's connected to our smartphone. It can either also be a terminal or a Windows PowerShell, but it needs to be in the same folder that you have ADB and Fastboot tools installed. And then we can just type out the command ADB space log cat space dash s space safety net response. And the S, N, and R have to be capitalized right here. So we're just going to press enter on the keyboard. And it's going to go through our logcat file, which you can see it pulled up two instances because I did this just recently as a test. And it's going to pull up the evaluation type. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for the evaluation type right here. Now, if your device is using the simple, passable, basic method, then it's only going to say basic right here. However, as you can see with my Redmi K30 Pro, 
it also says hardware backed. So that means that this device is currently using both basic and hardware backed, but it's going to rely on the hardware backed unless it needs to fall back on the basic. So this device is currently using the hardware backed safety net check. And again, this same line is going to be there if your device has just the basic checks, but it's not going to say hardware backed. You can actually look right here. This is a sample log file. You can see it still says basic like it says there, but it is missing the hardware backed part of that line. And then that instance, that device is only using the basic safety net attest checks. So there you have it. That is how to find out which method of safety net checks your Android device is currently using.